In this video, I want to show you how to divide a big job into smaller ones and distribute them between workers, which can perform small jobs only, but in parallel. We want to understand the effect of parallelism in big calculations. Imagine, in a study in linguistics, I need to count the occurrence of each word in a large number of books. This could take so long for a single processing unit to do this job. In this case, we have lots of small processing units, each one consists of a processor and memory, and we call them workers. Now I should assign jobs to the workers. I define two types of jobs, map and reduce. Each map worker is given a unique part of a book that fits in its memory. Then it separates the text into words. For each word, dragon as an example, it produces a key value pair. Dragon is set as the key and constant one as the value. After all map workers process their text, I gather all key value pairs and sort them by keys. Now it's time for reduced workers to start their job. Each reduced worker is given a key and all of its values. For example, if there are four pairs with key dragon, then one of the reduced workers is given dragon as the key and four ones as the values. Note that all values for a key is given to exactly one reduced worker. The reduced worker then computes the summation of all given values and produces a new key value pair. It sets dragon as the key and the summation as the value. When all the reduced workers finish their job, I gather the final produced key value pairs. But these pairs are what I was looking for, each word and the number of occurrences in the books. This small example is actually what we call MapReduce programming. Before talking about the implementation of MapReduce, please have a look at the next page, which presents the fault system, which is the base of the MapReduce programming system, and also some general details about it.